if you're a bedroom producer that is looking for a cheap option to at least have something to mix on, don't buy these. I mean, if that's all you have to do and for some reason you don't have an extra $50 to fork out to a better pair of headphones, then go for it, I guess. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, I'm super glad to have you guys to be a part of this journey. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video on where I tell you guys why I picked to buy these headphones in the first place. But first things first, the headphones. This is the first time I've done an unboxing video in a while. This, these, this. This is the Audio-Technica M20X headphones. These are, according to the back of the box, professional monitor headphones with advanced build quality and engineering, 40 millimeter drivers with rare earth magnets, copper clad aluminum wire voice coils, and is tuned for enhanced low frequency performance. Now right off the bat, that sounds really cool. But at the timing of this video, these headphones are only $50. So let's take a look and see how much $50 will get you in a cheap pair of headphones. Let's unbox it. First thing we have is some documentation. And next we got this little cardboard cutout and when you open it, and there they are. Now let's get these things out of here. And beyond the headphones and the documentation, you don't really get very much in this box <laughs> compared to maybe a pair of Audio-Technica M50Xs where you actually get a carrying case. All right, here they are. A $50 pair of Audio-Technica headphones. That's it. And honestly, even for this price point, I'm surprised that they don't supply anything, even just a little extra to make it, just to make it stand out a little more for being such a, a cheap pair of headphones. On the plus side, you do get an adapter that is a little more universal than the one that comes with the M50Xs, which are a little more proprietary. Now, why did I decide to go with these versus maybe a cheap pair of in-ear monitors or maybe even the M50Xs? Well, I actually already tested it on another pair that I had unboxed a few days ago, and I've just been kind of casually listening and comparing them to what I am already familiar with. And I'll go ahead and tell you guys, if you're a bedroom producer that is looking for a cheap option to at least have something to mix on, don't buy these. Or if you're a studio musician, this might not matter as much because you're not the one that's gonna be mixing your music. But even then, I don't wanna give any fake recommendations to you guys. And I'll get into more detail on why that is here in just a second. Because I wanna go ahead and tell you the main reason on why I chose to go ahead and get these $50 pair of headphones is that just having a couple of cheap options around just laying in the studio is nice to have. For the past couple of years, I've been using in-ears instead of my M50Xs when having a client over and I'm not getting a good representation of what my mix actually sounds like in the recording process. And if it's one thing that I have learned about mixing and recording is that it is best to get the sound as great as it can from the source. And if I have a pair of in-ear monitors and my client is the one that is using my nicer pair of monitors for accurate referencing, it's not going to be very easy for me to decide on maybe some changes to the client's technique or encourage them and figure out what's going on in the mix without having to mess around too much in post-production. And obviously I can't give them my in-ears because that would be gross. And to be honest, I didn't know that these really existed outside of the M50Xs and I honestly didn't know that Audio-Technica had more headphones aside from the N50Xs and maybe some higher tier options. And there are a lot of reasons on why most studios go with the M50Xs compared to, let's say, the M20Xs. And I go into more detail on why that is, along with giving my best options on whether the M20X or the M50X is better for you in this video. Is it right here? I think it's right here. But if you've already kind of figured that out, go check out my other videos too. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.